Hi again everyone! Today I'm back to share my knowledge about solving math in a fun and enjoyable way. So kindly watch, relax, and learn about what I made the video for you. Problem solving. Young children are well on their way to being problem solvers by the time they start school. Children begin learning how to learn at birth as they react to their surroundings and other people. This process of making meaning of experience is continual and cyclical. Reading is a challenging activity that requires complicated problem solving, as we have long understood. Since there would be no mathematics without a problem, mathematicians have long known that problem solving is essential to their fields. Since the 1945 release of Polya's book on how to solve it, Problem solving has been a key component in educational theories thinking. Since the early 1990s, problem solving and mathematical modeling have received more attention in mathematics teaching globally than they have in the United States. According to the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics or NCTM, which has consented consistently promoted the problem solving for nearly 40 years. There's a five ways to make solving math fun. First is make it hands-on. A hands-on math activity is one that involves children doing something instead of passively learning through reading or writing. The more active the activity is, the more engaged children become. Number two, real-life math. Older children love to be involved in the adult world. Give them tasks where they have to use math skills to complete the work. Have them plant a garden, measuring the spaces between the seeds. They could calculate how much water their garden will need and how much that will cost. And even allow them to sell their, their produce and estimate their profit. Number three, magic motivators. Simple reward system can make a huge difference in the way your children view math and learning in general. The key is to find something that your children really desire. Whatever it may be, rewards help develop a love for math that stems from the excellent excitement only personalized motivation can bring. Number four, art and music. Art and music are often treated as extras, unnecessary subjects. However, math is central to both art and music. Math art is very popular and famous because the painters like Leonardo da Vinci use mathematical concepts to plan their works. So children will love the patterns and designs they can create by applying these same concepts and your budding artists will love improving this work with them. And the last is math apps. Your children won't even know they're learning when playing a fan math app. These games are portable and you can target specific areas that your children need the most practice. Block slide puzzle. The diagram below shows a cross shaped box containing three numbered blocks. The puzzle is to slide the blocks around the box until the numbers read 1, 2, 3 as you go down. So, how do you do it and how many moves does it take? Okay, now I'll show you the solution. So, there we have eight moves based on the picture below. It's really easy, right? You can pause the video if you are still confused. 12 Days of Christmas According to the traditional song, on the first day of Christmas, which is 25th December, my true love sent to me. First bullet is a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, 26th December, my true love sent to me three presents. Two turtle doves and partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, 27th December, and so on, my true love sent to me six presents, 
three French hens, two turtle doves, a partridge, and a bird tree. This carry on until the 12th day of Christmas when my true love sends me 12 drummers drumming, 11 pipers piping, 10 lords a leaping, 9 ladies dancing, 8 maids a milking, 7 swans a swimming, 6 geese a lying, 5 gold rings, 4 calling birds, 3 French hens, 2 turtle doves, and a partridge in a pure tree. If your answer is correct or you're still confused, I'll show you the solution. So, partridge, which is 12 days times 1. So, 12, day, 12 times 1 equals 12. And turtle doves is 11 days in 11 days. So, times it to 2, it is 22. So, so on and so forth. So, the answer is day by day, which is 1 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 plus 15 plus 21 plus 28 plus 36 plus 45 plus 55 plus 66 plus 78 is 36 364 presents we have a last game for level one which is mirror mirror puzzle if you continue shading square so that the two dotted lines become lines lines of symmetry or mirror lines of the completed diagram how many squares will be left unshaded do you have in mind or do you know the answer for this one so the solution for that if you continue shading the square so that the two lines become mirror lines as you can see in the picture in the side so we got nine numbers odd square is left we are now on level 2, which is logic puzzles. So let's start for the first game for level 2. Bags of marbles. You have three bags, each containing two marbles. Bag A contains two white marbles. Bag B contains two black marbles. And bag C contains one white marble and one black marble. You pick a random bag and take out one marble it is a white marble what is the probability that the remaining marble from the same bag is also white our solution for that is two three not one half so you know that you do not have bag b so two it is inside the bag is two black marbles so there are uh, three possibilities that you choose bag a the first white marble the other marble will be white you choose bag a the second white marble the other marble will be white or you choose bag c that the white marble or the other marble will be black so two out of three possibilities are white so the question is why not one half you are selecting marbles not bags second game is breaking up a chocolate bar how many steps are, re are required to break an MXN size bar of chocolate into one piece? So you can break an existing piece of chocolate horizontally or, ver or vertically. You cannot break two or more pieces at once. The solution is you need MXN and it is one step only. By breaking an existing piece horizontally or vertically, you merely increase the total number of pieces by one so you already have one piece so need mxn one steps to get to mxn pieces first game for level three cypher puzzle find the code so there's it has six different digits even and odd digits alternate note zero is an even number so, the digits next to each other have a difference greater than 1. When we break the code into three sets of two digits number, then the first and middle are multiple of the last. Our solution is that with even and odd digits, digits alternating and difference greater than 1, then the last two digits can only be 03, 05, 07, 09, 14, 16, 18. 
Any higher and we can't make multiplies for the first or second pair. So let's check for multiplies where even and odd digits alternate and have difference greater than 1. So 0, 3 has 27, 63, 69, 81. 0, 7 has 49, 63. 0, 9 has 27, 63, 81. 18 has 36, 72, 90. 25 and 27 has none. So when we try to make full numbers that follow all the rules, we find only this. So we have here 692703, 816903, 4963078163309, and 903618. So there's a possibility that one of them is a code.